Ugh. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm in a bad place to be starting this. But yeah, we're starting the next episode of Subnautica, ladies and gentlemen, and we're still by the wreckage from earlier. But I don't want to have any fucking more to do with this place if that creature, whatever the hell it is, I'm just going to call it a warper. Okay, no, it is just called a warper. It's going to be disturbing me. And these bulbs here and what, huh? Hello, what are you? Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly Gel decreased. Gel sack? New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired? What do you mean? What the Oh! I know how to make arrow gel now! We have advanced ourselves sufficiently in order to be able to make arrow gel! Which is going to be important for some of the more major um, things that we're going to do here. The thing is, in order to make aerogel, we need those gel sacks and rubies! There's a ruby right there, isn't there? Yeah, I remember getting one of these earlier. Whoops. I have you now. So now I can make... Oh, there's another gel sack over here. Actually, another thing is I think I can actually grow gel sacks in the outdoor grow beds. Uh, so it would be advantageous to find uh, and cut a gel sack open for its seeds or spores or whatever the hell they are. This is good. Ah, there's one. Okay, um... Knife, 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 knife. Oh, uh, no! No, no, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it! We're not going for that one, no way, sir! Sorry, not for me, not gonna do it. Not a chance. That fucker wants to be in abysmal annoyance of irritation and irrationableness. I don't want anything to do with him. He can fuck all of the off. Oh, but there's a gel sack over here. And there's no warper here yet. Okay. Should be enough seeds and sacks. Although I do need to. Actually, no, that's not what I wanted to do. What are these things? Membrane tree. And what are you? Reginald? Eh. That a, no, no, it's not a ruby. What are those? What's this? What's this? Uraninite? Uranin... Uran... Uraninite? Uran I'm gonna need uh, diamonds for something later. Uraninite? As in uranium? As in radioactive? Well, that's probably what that clicking noise is about. It's just like a Geiger counter. Oh, yes, Ruby. I didn't scan these yet. More rubies. Lots of uranium. Uranit. Uranit. Ur ur Shit. Um. I'm going down a hole without really thinking. Well away from my submersible. Submarine. Let me get in. And, you know, I'll, I'll go down this cavern with the submersible if I can fit it in here. Can you fit in here? Seam off? Yeah. Not too shabby. Actually, there's stuff lined along the walls all the way up. Okay, I'm not going to collect any more urine. 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 Urineite. That seems like... I don't even know what I'm going to do with those yet. It's not like I have a nuclear reactor. Do I? Do I have a nuclear reactor? Um... I don't... Well, I... I had... 
I don't know the ingredients to it, but apparently I can make one. Okay. I just need to be on the eye out for rubies and gel sacks and gel sacks and rubies. Of course, I could get rubies back in the, uh, back in the, uh, the, uh, that other place, the, the other bulb zone. That uh, can't fit in here. Fine. Uh, okay. I hope I don't wedge myself in here too badly. Come on. Turn around. Okay, you know what? Uh. I'm going to call that a successful mission, and we'll return to Outpost Betamax. You know, we still... Actually, on the way back to Outpost Betamax, I'm going to see if I can't detour to... We're going to go th past Outpost Axelon and detour into the Mushroom uh, Zone. thought I saw something. Detour into the mushroom zone to grab some magnetite, because we're going to need that as well. Then we'll be on our way to Outpost Betamax, and we'll start building up some more. Alright, we're at Outpost Axelon. This way is down to the mushroom zone. The deep mushroom caves. We'll go down here. Have a look around for some magnetite. Grab some, and then... Head over to head back to Betamax Outpost. I don't think they were in outcrops. I think they were just sticking out of the ground or the walls or something. Sorry. God, I've got enough things making weird noises at me down here. Magnetite. Okay, well, my inventory appears to be pretty darn full right now. Like, not completely full, but I think I pretty... What the fuck? Alright. But I do believe I have pretty much exhausted uh, my desires here, so we're gonna go back up to head toward outpost uh, Betamax. Right, home sweet home. Well, <laughs> as I say, as long as I can. So, with all that said, the thing that we need to start consideration for now is that we can make aerogel with the things that we have at hand. But actually, another thing that we could do is I also have those. Uh, I want to make another. <clears throat> Exterior grow bed. And I have the titanium on hand for right now, but I want to get that started so that we can start growing more of those gel sacks. Because I think gel sacks are actually a pretty damn good uh, commodity as far as their general capability. You know, uh, for various reasons. Like, for aero, aero, aerogel is one thing, but I think they're also, like, really good food. They give good H2O and good food. And I think they might actually be better than these bulbs as far as giving power to the, uh... Giving power to the bioreactor is concerned. Anyway, we need aerogel for something. Uh, I think we need aerogel for a couple of things.
Right, the next thing that we need to build on the Neptune is the boosters, which also requires nickel ore. Um. Oh, wait, no, the prawn suit! I can build a prawn suit. At least I think I can. Um, I need two aerogel and two plasteel ingots. Ugh. Right, plasteel, that's titanium and lithium. All right, let's start with the aerogel since that's something that I know I'm going to need a couple of. Okay. And for plasteel, we need titanium ingots and lithium. Uh, you know what? It would be great if I could just have like a pinned, this is all I need sort of thing. Enameled glass. Uh, enameled glass, I think, requires glass and a stock or two. I think I have glass in one of these. I guess, and a stalker tooth. Good. Yeah, stalkers apparently drop their teeth on occasion, and I've collected some. Yeah, enameled glass. And we need two lead. I think I have two lead. I need another diamond as well, which I think I have. Two lead. Six I have two diamonds. All right. Fine, I'll drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I keep. Okay. And a plasteel ingot. And a plasteel ingot requires a titanium ingot. Wait, does it? I forgot. Did it say it needed one or two? Two plasteel ingots. Fuck me. And that requires. Two lithium, so I need like four lithium. There's two here. Did I? Okay. And two here. I just ate that on a pure happenstance. Okay, don't need these. Don't need all this uranium. I don't have uranium fever. Okay. I need four of this. And now I need a shit ton of titanium. Which I'm going to need to go get some. <laughs> Isn't it just lovely? I need to go get some titanium. Which means going to search for some salvage, I believe. I'm gonna have to pick up these ones one at a time. And I need enough for two titanium ingots, because I need one each for each plastic one for each plastic ingot. Clips right now, please. Turn that into a titanium ingot, and then turn that into a plasteel ingot, then go searching for more titanium to turn into another titanium ingot. Ah! Last makes plasteel. Oh. And that should be enough to build the bronze suit. Yes, it's all right. We're now ready to build bronze suit. All we have to do now is take this up to the MVB and begin. Where's the MVB? Where's the MVB? Bruno, where's the MVB? Where did he go? It's here, isn't it? Oh, there it is. I just can't see it. Bruno, you got. Bruno? Ugh, Bruno! Don't do that to me! I don't care! I'm not a man of practical jokes! Plus, you're weird. 
Uh, right. Won't put the ankle bay. Climb on to the MVB and begin construction of me prawn suit. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking care. Do with self discipline. <laughs> discipline my ass. With Bruno, did you do that? Did you stop it? I didn't know you were capable of doing that. I now has my own mobile suit, and I am going straight down. Oh god. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh. Now this is really good and everything, and I definitely enjoy just the prospect of even having my own godforsaken. I have a mobile suit, or well, maybe a power loader. I guess. It's a, I don't know. It's a suit, as far as I'm concerned. They call it a prawn. I don't understand. But I has it. Uh, get up onto the thing. Fly! Prawn suit! Prawn suit! Ah, oh, God, snakes, come on. Okay, let me fly up. But the only thing about this thing that I dislike is its lack of maneuverability up front. Like, yeah, it has uh, jet boosters and whatnot, and it can punch the ever-living crap out of it. But, you know, there's a lot of ground to cover around here, and that's what the Seamoth is more or less for. At least until I get this thing with grappling and drill arm upgrades. And unfortunately, I don't think I can build either of those, or really any upgrades, until I get the moon pool. So I think that's what I'm going to have to focus on for my next episode of Let's Play Subnautica is to look for more moon pool fragments so that I can build a moon pool so that I can build us some vehicle upgrade consoles so that we can start upgrading our vehicles. But until next time, I'm going to have to ask everybody just... Well, maybe we're not going to have to ask them immediately. First of all, I'm going to thank everybody for watching. Then I'm going to ask them to look down in the description at the various social media links that I have there, as well as a link to my coffee page. And at your own discretion, you know, I don't want to be pushy or anything. Please follow up on any of those given links. And then we can end that by saying RCFS and 